On Thursday, February 15th, the Manchester Community Library held a forum to explain and discuss their request for a $74,000 increase in the town's appropriation, which will be decided by voters during March town meeting. The increase would raise the library's ask from about $243,000 to about $317,000. That amount is the first increase the library has sought in six years. The request has met with a mixed response from some town officials and community members, with the library's role as an important community center being balanced against the upward pressure on the local municipal tax rate. At the forum, the library, led by its executive director, Ed Surgeon, attempted to make the case for this investment in the community. I think uh, it's fair to say that the library is among the premier assets uh, in, our, in our town. Uh, and you know, all you have to do um, is frankly look at what every realtor does with every uh, new uh, family that comes to town. This is the first stop or the second stop. So I think what's most important to know, you know, the library's place, and I think this has always been true, but we really, really want to emphasize that uh, uh, everyone is welcome uh, at the library. We are uh, inclusive. We want everyone to um, be here and to um, uh, feel uh, comfortable here. And our staff is uh, patron-facing. We know that the public that comes in our doors is the most important thing that we do. And uh, so that's um, you know a uh, a cultural change uh, that people I think can really feel um, uh, when they're here. Uh, we also have a very significant focus on our children and families. While we serve all ages, um, there is a virtuous cycle that begins by um, uh, working with kids. Because once we get the kids in, we get the parents, we get the grandparents, and everyone else follows. And so that's been uh, very intentional on our part. And we've also done a ton of work to be a uh, a catalyst, a facilitator uh, for the community. Uh, we really worked to cultivate a closer relationship uh, with the town of Manchester. Uh, I think that I've said um, in a number of forums now, we want um, uh, our town to think of the library as an extension of um, the town. Um, there really shouldn't be a sense of um, uh, a separation. Um, so we've done police training, multi-day um, police training. We're gonna do um, another session of that coming up now, Paige, in March, right? We've got a couple days. Uh, yeah, uh, we've done um, uh, energy committee meetings. We've held the cell tower meetings here. Uh, we even held a select board meeting last year. And we also do work um, uh, in the summers with the recreation park camps. So. That is, a, I think, um, a very happy, uh, growing uh, relationship that uh, we, again, are uh, really focused on uh, developing. After Ed Surgeon's presentation, it was time for some community commentary and questions and answers. The impact that these appropriations are going to continue to have on residents are only going to be compounded as tax increases rise. Are we now allowing the conversation and does the library support splitting a cap if let's say you know we went down this road a couple of years ago with the town but if there was going to be one fund and the appropriations were maxed out at let's say half a million dollars you guys had to split it around the nonprofits requesting funds would you be in support of that if there was just one bucket of money that all of these funds came out of the library the library board and i are completely open to finding um, a improved way of uh, handling this uh, every year. And the exact um, structure and nature of what that might look like, I think it would be, frankly, premature um, to, uh, uh, to say. I know there's been a number of discussions in the past, um, and you know, uh, we still have the annual uh, uh, appropriation process. I think that uh, both given the nature of what the library is, 
and the size of our um, uh, uh, request every year puts us into a unique category. Um, and so I think that uh, it does merit some uh, thought as to um, how we go forward now. Yes, hi. Hi, so I'm Rita Wright and I'm the elephant in the room, but I'm looking at it as a resident and at people that I know. So I'm really looking at what will the crowd be able to bear? You have your budget and we have ours. Yes. And we, we will, um, the problem we have right at the moment is that uh, this budget has been presented in such a way that I understand if it's not accepted, something, uh, you know, according to Bob's standard, there will be no appropriation at all. That's correct. Uh, that's a very bad move for everyone. So it means that somebody's budget has to be stretched. And uh, just as Bob Standard says, we don't want to eliminate one of the attractions of Manchester. So the deed is done. But the deed is not done because it prevails. It will continue. It will be presumptive of you, of the library, that uh, what, what is needed will be taken care of. And so what can you do? So, uh, I, uh, my own disposition um, to share with you is I'm a fiscally conservative person. So I have a deep appreciation for the care that um, our select board and town hall takes uh, with, our, with our money. Uh, and uh, I'm also um, very comfortable, and I think um, the library board is comfortable, with Manchester voters uh, getting a say on a annual basis with um, how the library is um, uh, 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 funded the public. You know, is there an approach going forward that we could come together and find that doesn't put us um, uh, into this uh, uh, dilemma every year? Um, and uh, you know, again, my hope would be that uh, we can uh, begin to work to do that. Jonathan West, one of the candidates for the Manchester Select Board, attended the meeting and voiced his support for it. I think it's really important for our community to understand how much good this library does for our community. It is literally the, the thread that connects all of us. In a society where we're so polarized, where we're, uh, you know, us against them, so many of those groups and those, those uh, certainly the most marginalized people in our communities have a place to come here, uh, become more a part of our community, and it's imperative that we embrace that. And I think uh, the work that the library is doing from A to Z, whether it's the uh, uh, you know just making it a more inclusive and equitable location for our entire community. I, I implore the entire uh, 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 the community, our, our town of Manchester voters to vote yes. Uh, I already have. <laughs> I was there yesterday and uh, I hope that the town of Manchester can see the important role that this community hub, not just a library, a community hub plays in the success of our town. The library's request will be up for discussion during the informational meeting to be held on Saturday, March 2nd at the Manchester Elementary Middle School. The request itself will be decided by Australian ballot voting on Tuesday, March 5th. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.